this is a little amplifier that I picked up a while back. Uh, it's a Sanyo PA720. 20 watts times 2. These uh, amplifier. The box is really uh, worn. Some of the stuff is still legible, but uh, it's hard to really read it here. Sanyo 7000 series mobile amplifiers achieve dynamic range of 100 dB, making it ideally suited for use for your CD player. And there, how it shows that it has dynamic uh, headroom. Top of the box doesn't look that bad. The bottom is really worn and it's missing one of the side pieces there. It did come uh, with the foam uh, protectors on the side packaging. And um, in this plastic here, let's see if I can take it out. You can see it. The amplifier itself is brand new. I haven't tested it, and that's what I plan to do today. Um, taking a look at it first, uh, 20 to 20,000 hertz, so less than 0 0.05 THD, dynamic range 100 dB, dynamic headroom 2 dB. Speaker outputs on this side. There's your RCA inputs and the input sensitivity control and um, speaker inputs. The high inputs there. And this is the underside of the amplifier. Made in Japan. But um, for now, let's just go ahead and uh, hook this thing up. I'm going to pause the video so I can connect everything. So the black, of course, is the ground. Um, the thicker red wire goes to battery, and the thinner red wire is your uh, remote on, your trigger wire. So I'm going to go ahead and connect everything and uh, we'll go ahead and test it out, see if it works. I went ahead and connected everything. On this side, um, as you can see, is the speaker output connections. Positive, negative, negative, positive. I don't know if you can see these uh, push-in type of connections. I, I don't really like those. Uh, they tend to uh, get stuck. Sometimes you get wires stuck in there and uh, they jam up and you have to take them apart, get all the wire out and they're just not, uh, it's not, it's not a really good design. I'm glad that most of the amplifiers uh, kind of get away with that and they started using speaker uh, screw on terminals. So RCA is connected. Um, I'm using uh, some 4 inch Audax and a couple of DLS uh, tweeters here with the DLS crossovers. Uh, the crossover setting for the tweeter set on uh, high. Let's try some uh, music.
I did find a manual that came with it. I thought uh, um, it was lost, but I found it. And um, I think I put it I put it away because uh, it was missing one of the side uh, flaps on the box and I didn't want to lose it. Here's what the manual looks like. Twenty watt per channel. Just goes over the warranty here. One year warranty. Some of the features here. Setting the um, sensitivity con control, the installation, how to connect it to the, um, your head unit here. And let's see the back actually has the specs here. This shows you how to replace the fuse. Kind of, it must have been like uh, stuck to the box. Uh, kind of wore off the writing there a little bit. Made in Japan. These were the early days of compact discs, so it kind of gave you an idea. I guess they had this insert where they. Can I explain a little bit about the analog and digital recording? And I think there was like a, they also try to sell some CDs through this company here. That's what it looks like. Where you can buy CDs direct from this company. Hmm. I said it was one of those inserts. It says Motown on the back. Interesting. Yeah, they they have several um, stuff, CDs that you can purchase through their company. Very nice. There you have it. I wasn't sure that it was gonna work uh, at all. Some of these, um, some of these amplifiers, even or other equipment, even if it's new old stock, uh, um, you know, it's been sitting. So uh, most of the time, it will function properly. Sometimes they don't. They don't even power on. So um, it could be dried up, uh, you know, capacitors, uh, what have you. Sometimes they leak and they cause damage to the board and cause all kinds of other problems. So. But I guess this one might have been stored away, um, maybe somewhere where um, the temperatures were not as harsh. And this survived, and uh, here it is. It still works, and it looks really good. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can take a look at the internals. And this is the underside of the amplifier, as you can see. Um, it has this uh, little wire retainer here. You remove that. Then you remove uh, six uh, screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then the cover comes off. And you have access to the inside. This is what the little amplifier looks like on the inside.
SDK0292 1,000 microfarad uh, larger capacitors there. I'm gonna put everything back. I put it all back. This is uh, that's about it. Thanks again for watching.